John Calvin on Psalm 65, verse 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest, and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. Blessed are those you choose. Having already acknowledged that the people had separated themselves from God by their sins and forfeited all right to be heard, David now takes refuge in the free grace of God, which secures the remission of sin amongst other blessings. He thus casts an additional light upon what he said on the point of guilt being purged away by pointing to the cause of God's being favorable to poor sinners, which can only be found in this fatherly love leading him to welcome them into his presence, however undeserving. That pardon which we daily receive flows from our adoption, and on it also are all our prayers founded. How could the sinner venture into the sight of God to obtain reconciliation with him where he is not persuaded of his being a father? In the words before us, David does not speak of the grace of God as reaching to the Gentiles, but in terms which apply only to the times in which he wrote. The church of God was confined to the Jews, and they only were admitted into the sanctuary, whereas now, when the distinction has been abolished and other nations called to the same privilege, we are all at liberty to approach him with familiarity. Christ is our peace, Ephesians 2, verse 14, who has united in one those who are far off and those who are near. What has been now said may show at once the scope of the psalmist. The church and chosen people of God, being in possession of the promise of the remission of sins, he calls those blessed whom God has included within that number and introduced into the enjoyment of such a distinguished privilege. His language intimates that the election did not at that time terminate upon all, for he insists upon it as the special prerogative of the Jews that they had been chosen by God in preference to the other nations. Were it supposed that man could do anything to anticipate the grace of God, the election would cease to be with God himself, although the right and power of it are expressly ascribed to him. But the Jews had no excellency above others, except in the one point of having enjoyed the distinguishing favor of God. The middle wall of partition is now broken down, that the Gentiles might be called in.